hello how's everybody doing today I'm doing pretty good I haven't seen you all in a while and um, I was going to do a video today um, on Bible cases and um, my name is Sheree McGinnis and I just wanted to welcome you all to my channel I'm gonna try to set me a timer here so I can see about how long it's going to take me Um, let's see go and um, welcome to the channel I hope y'all are doing good uh, I've been doing pretty good lately and um, the weather's turned cold though it's starting to turn really cool and the leaves are starting to change if they start changing really pretty and they don't get all crinkly and fall off I'll, I'll try to make a little video of the leaves around here as they change um, but anyway I'm glad you're all here with me and um, welcome to the channel and if you're new um, I hope you like the video we do a lot of uh, Christian based videos, uh, what's in my handbag, all kinds of stuff, just chit chats about stuff. We just try to keep it fun, keep God in it, and um, if you want, you can hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And hit the little bell after you subscribe, and that that'll let you know when we put new videos up. But uh, I wanted to thank everybody. We're over a thousand subscribers now. I couldn't believe it. I, <laughs> I just looked the other day, I hadn't looked in a while, and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> over a thousand, I, I was shocked. Um, but anyway, I appreciate everybody, and I love all my subscribers, and I thank you all for your support so much. But it's not about me anyway, and I just know that if there's that many people on here subscribed, hopefully watching all these videos, I can see how many people view it. Um, that means they're all learning about God with me. And I tell people I'm not a Bible scholar. I don't know that, you know, the Bible in and out. But I'm just trying to learn. And I'm just kind of taking you all along with me. And we can help each other. But anyway, um, I had a question on my Facebook group page. Which is Cherie and Sisters in Christ. S-H-E-R-E-E. -E, just like my first name. Uh, Cherie and Sisters in Christ. And that's a Facebook group page. And you girls are welcome to join that. We do scripture writing and just share things and prayers and things. It's a really nice channel. Everybody's really nice. It's a no drama channel. Uh, you know, everybody gets along. Everybody's so sweet and nice. And um, we just share things and it's really nice. But someone on there asked yesterday, and I hadn't really thought about it much, but they asked about Bible covers. And they were wanting to get one, but they weren't really sure um, what kind to get. And I thought, well, you know, that's kind of a good idea to do a video on because I hadn't really thought about it. And to be honest with you, I didn't think I had that many. But once I started looking for them, I've got bunches of them. And I didn't even realize. But this has been over years collecting these. Um, some things I like about them more than others. But I thought if you don't have one or if you do, I mean, share your comments on here what ones that you like. But... Um, Anyway, I thought I'd share just different kinds here. and might give people some ideas if they go to get another one or get one for the first time. Uh, let's see. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, they make quilted ones. I'll start out with this little bit uh, bigger here. Uh, this is a quilted one. And uh, I don't know where I got most of these at. And to be honest with you, I think I probably got most of them off of eBay. But um, it just opens up. As so, and you just put your Bible in here. Now, when I put my Bible in here, I don't know if this Bible will fit in here or not, but just for an instance, when I put my Bible in them, I usually put my front and back cover in these size pouches here. If it fits, you know, they make different sizes. So you'll have to see what size your Bible is, like measure your Bible, make sure it fits the cover. They make all different sizes. But I usually put my cover in the front and in the back. But a lot of people just use it in the back and leave their front cover loose on their Bible. But I, I usually don't. This one has little Velcro tabs on the top. If your Bible will permit them, they'll close like that. But if not, you've got a handle to carry it with. It's got a couple of ribbons here. And this ribbon started fraying on me a little while ago. Uh, I, <laughs> I grabbed it off the shelf and went walking across the laundry room with it and I was like, what is that going zzz? <laughs> what it was, I had a hold of one of these little strings on this ribbon and it was unfraying as I was walking. So <laughs> I was just dragging the string all the way across the laundry room. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but that's how I usually do it. And um, people put the Bibles in here different, but this has a little pocket here. 
little pocket here and it also has a little velcro pocket here if you want to put stuff in there and some people use these in lieu of a purse so you don't have so much at church you know they put like their uh, like you could put your uh, offering or whatever in here um, you can put your uh, Sunday school notes inside here you can even tuck them up into uh, underneath the flaps here um, or just stick it down inside here you know it's not you know really going anywhere but uh, that's how I do it. Now, some people, like I say, leave the leave the top flap of your Bible out. I usually don't do that. I think that kind of is weird. Maybe if you had a more structured one, that would work. But where this is floppy, I always keep this stiffer with the cover in it. But that's just me. But anyway, um, that's how you can do those. And let's see. I don't know why I brought. Oh yeah, that too. I don't know why I brought that Bible in here, but I, I remember now. <laughs> but anyway, that's this one. And it's just a quilted pattern, as you can see there. And uh, there you go. So, we got that one out of the way. Then, I've got another quilted one over here. I've got a, I've got a couple of quilted ones here. Uh, this one has a Bible in it, and I've got the back cover in it. This one, um, I don't have the front cover in it, but um, it does have the back cover in it. But this is uh, another quilted one, and I think I got it off eBay, if I'm not mistaken. It has a flap right here that you can put your stuff in if you had anything. <laughs> like I've got stuff in it. What I just do? Oh, yeah, I've got like uh, sticky pads in here. And uh, ink pen and stuff. So there's that. And I'm trying to figure out where to put them at when I'm done with them. Uh, this one is more of a, it's not quite as floppy as the other one was. Um, but it is just a uh, oops, I an ink pen in there. This one has. If you look on the inside of this one. It has a little place here, the other ones didn't have, and that's a place like to stick um, your ink pens or whatever in. Uh, it even has a pen loop right here that you can put your pen in. You can see that, it has a little pocket right here. So that's pretty handy. And then it also has a pocket on the front, you know, so you can put your bulletins or whatever you want in there. And it has a handle, so you can carry it this way, which is nice. Uh, but that's another little thing that you can think about. It has a bookmark in it. Um, but this one's made really well. It has another pin loop over here on this side that I didn't see a while ago. But, uh, yeah, this one's a nice one, too. It's more of a flannel, almost. Quilted flannel or something? That's kind of the material that's made. But it has a handle, and you can carry it like this. Uh, which way am I going? Okay, here's another quilted one. I'll try to get to the quilted ones first. Um, this one is another quilted one. This is a Bella Taylor. It happens to have the name on it. Bella Taylor. And uh, it has the pocket right here on the front. And where's my zipper? Which way am I? Here I am. <laughs> and uh, this one has a bookmark in it. This one also has a pouch here. So I'm hold this up here. This one also has a pouch here for your pens and things in here. And I loved this Bible. It was so, it, the cover is so pretty on it and stuff, but it's so scuffed up and everything. But I real this was so sweet and I love this Bible. I um, still do. But it, had a, it has a bookmark in it. Now this one has something the others didn't. See, they're all different. Um, it has uh, you know, your pocket here to put whatever, uh, the Bible, but it also has like an ID card on it too. So it has a little clear thing right here that you can slide an ID card or something in. So, um, that's pretty handy. I guess you could even put your debit card in there or, I don't know, prayer cards or whatever, you know. Like I say, some people use these instead of carrying a purse, you know, maybe or something, so. But that that was a different feature, uh, feature the others didn't have on there. And I'll put him in 
later, so I don't want to take up so much of your time here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no way it's me. Either. Okay, this is another one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it off of eBay. Uh, a lot of people make these. These probably, well, I won't say they're not hard to make because I don't sew, so I really don't know, but I would say that, you know, uh, this is something if you knew how to sew, you can make, you know, and sell. Uh, it has a pocket here, and it has, whoops, it has that on the inside. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have any pockets on the inside. It just has the one on the outside's all. Um, I'm going to drop something I did. Um, this one doesn't have as many pockets as the others do. It doesn't have a Velcro closure or anything on it. It's just like this. It does have a handle. But I thought it was pretty. I like the colors in it and stuff. And one more, which I use this one. This one I use pretty often. It's, uh, no, wait a minute. There's two more. Excuse me. Here's this one. I'll show you this one next. Um, this one has a long pocket here. You put, you put a pretty good bit in there. I can get my whole hand in that. Um, let's see what the inside's got on this one. This one doesn't have anything down, you know, to put anything in this way. It just has your two flaps like they all do on the sides to hold your Bible or your Bible and Sunday school uh, bit, whatever. Um, but anyway, that's what this one looks like. This one, a lot of these don't have names, which I'm wondering if people made them. Uh, this one I don't think was handmade, but they don't have a, it doesn't have a label on it. But you can wash most of these. I've washed mine. Because they do, you know, they can get dirty because, you know, but this has a handle on it. I like the ones with the handle. They're easier to carry. And most of the time I still carry it like this, though. But it does have a handle. So, you know. Okay, this one here is the Vera Bradley. I know what this one is because I, uh, I use this one all the time. Uh, this one has uh, the two handles. And this one's made really sturdy, too. And it has this whole pocket here. It does not have a pocket on the back. Usually they just have pocket on one side on the outside. This one's uh, like that. And another thing to think of is some of them have pockets this way and some of them have pockets this way. You know, so you have to kind of think of which way you think you'd rather, you know, if you're going to carry it like this, you would probably want your pocket here. Uh, if you're going to carry it like a book, then you would probably want your pocket this way, vertical. That way when you're holding it up here, your stuff isn't falling out. I don't think it would fall out, depending on what you, I mean, if you got loose stuff in there like pins, it could possibly fall out if you're carrying it like this. But that's another thing to think of if you're making a little list or anything of what to look for, you know, which way your pocket you want it to go, you know. Um, let's see, did I not line up this one up yet, did I? Okay. This one has a pin loop. Right here. Uh, it just has your regular standard pockets on each side. Uh, this one's a pretty big one because I usually have pretty big Bibles, but that's all this one has on the inside. It's a pin loop. The rest is, you know, just your pockets on each side. But this one, um, this one holds a whole, you know, pretty good sized Bible. This is a uh, New King James Study Bible, which study Bibles are big. But um, Oscar's in the office watching stuff. I, if you hear noise in the background, he's in the office. I'm running off. <laughs> I must end the video. I'm running in the office. But anyway, this is a pretty big Bible, but it fits in here really nice. I don't have any trouble with any of my Bibles getting in this one um, because they fit really nice. So, um, you know, you just have to watch your size, you know, and most of them have bookmarks. I just noticed this one has some, if I can find them now. Yeah, this one has three bookmarks, so that's nice. But, um, yeah. This one is a Vera Bradley. I know that for sure because it's the Plum Crazy, I think, the pattern of it. But anyway, that's that one. And this one has, like I said, the pocket this way. All right. Now, I think that's all the quilted ones. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Here is one that is camouflaged. Okay. Now, this one has the design on the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Design on the front. Cross. Okay, this one has the pocket on the back. Okay, and has a handle this way, like a strap handle, not a uh, handle, handle, <laughs> handle, handle. Uh, this one has a pin loop, and 
jet, uh, this one has, <coughs> excuse me, this one doesn't have the, um, this is a Montana West, that's what this one is, let me get my Charles Stanley Bible out here and I'll show you. Um, <laughs> it's my little granddaughter when she was a baby. Um, this one doesn't have, which most of them aren't like this, but this one is, um, this one has straps that you put your Bible underneath, your Bible cover, which it holds it good, and that's fine. You know, it has a strap. So, um, there you go. But, um, you just tuck your Bible cover under the strap, and then, oh, I'm getting all this in my film frame here. Okay, you just do it like that. That's all you gotta worry about. And then zip him up. Okay, this one, um, I think I got the Montana West off of eBay too. I know I got this one off of eBay. Now this is a different kind of Bible cover that you might want to consider. This has a smaller Bible in it. As you can see, the case is not that big, as big as the others. Um, this one has two sections, two zipper sections. And this came with the Bible that's in it. I got it off of eBay with the Bible and the case. And it didn't really cost all that much. And I was impressed. This is a... Uh, Spirit-filled life Bible. And it's a really a nice Bible. Um, I would rather have a, probably a larger size just because I like a larger Bible, but this one's a good size to take to church. So, you know, I kind of take that back because it's not a bad size. Uh, the print's pretty readable in it, and I like that pretty good. But anyway, um, this one has your two pockets on the sides like they always do. Uh, this one has just a zipper thing right here. Uh, A little zipper mesh pocket. Let me stick my finger in there so you can see what I mean. Yeah, I see. Just a little zipper mesh pocket is what that one's got. And on that part, like I say, there's two parts. And that was the first part. That's the part your Bible would be in, okay? So we'll put the Bible in this part. Okay, it's doing that way for now. This has nice zipper pulls too on it and has a cross on there. Okay, then it has another section in the back that you can open up. And it has a place for a notepad, which my notepad came off the back of the thing, but it's a place for a notepad. And then on this side, I'll take that out before it falls. This is a nice one, uh, too. It has pen loops. Y'all see? And it has a pocket here. And it has two pockets here. And a big pocket here. And some pen loops and stuff, if you can see that. I like this one. This is a real nice case. It does not have a name in it. So I don't know what brand it is, but let me see one that looks like this with the crosses and the fish on it. It doesn't have a name in it. Um, like I say, I got it off of eBay and it came with the Bible and that was a pretty good deal. <laughs> and I really like it. And it has a nice sturdy handle. This is a very nice very nice Bible bag here. Um, it doesn't have any pockets on the outside. It has all this on the inside. So really that's nice because you don't have to worry about losing anything or anything. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this one here is a big Bible case. Let me see here. Let me zip him up so I can hold him up better. I grabbed these real quick and come in here. I need to wash this one, but this one I'm kind of afraid to because I'm going to have to probably spot treat it. I don't know if I've ever hand, uh, washed it before or not in the washer. I'm thinking probably not. But anyway, um, this one has a big zipper compartment on the outside right here. Okay, you can put sticky notes or whatever. I've got, looks like my little granddaughter's stuff she's colored in Sunday school in there. Um, this one has uh, the zipper pocket. It doesn't have an open slot pocket, so it's everything stays secure. It has nice... Nice big handles on it, big rolled handles, really sturdy. Um, this one's big, but my Bibles are big, so you know, the bigger they are, the more cumbersome they can kind of be. This one has um, the pocket on the each side, and that's all that it has, and bookmark. But um, it's my life application Bible. But this one's nice. It's just kind of big. Oops. It's a 
ones. Let's put you in that one. Okay. All right. But this one, because of the trim on it, I'd almost be afraid to actually wash it in the washer. I, I don't think I have this one because I'm afraid this will come off onto this cream color so I could spot wash it. Um, let's see. I hurt my elbow the other day and I'm having a hard time. Plus my finger's still numb from where I cut it months ago. It's good up to about my knuckle right in here and then I just can't, it's numb. It's hard to use it. This case I've had forever and I really like this one. I've used it and, whoops, I've used it and used it and used it. Now this is an exception to the rule I just talked about because this one does have a pouch on each side, okay? And it's this way, okay? It has these two handles. These handles also go back down in if you don't want them out. If you want to carry it like a book, it's not gonna be in your way. And the handles also come out if you want to. And on the inside of this one, uh, okay, this one has, this one has a lot of good things to it too. Um, I don't hold it up all the way or not, but this one has a place here that opens up for a notepad. Okay, your notepad could go here. It has pin loops here. Okay. Then, what you can do, okay, this, let me show you how this works here. You see that? Okay. Here's your little opening with your pen, uh, your pad here. Oscar's been using this cover. Uh, then it has this part that comes over that actually holds your Bible cover part, okay? And then that's where this comes into play, okay? And it has your other pocket over here to put your Bible cover in. Okay, uh, but that's how this one works. Uh, this one is nice. However, when I get into all these flipping out and all that stuff, I usually have a wreck because my one little story of what I've done here that is embarrassing at church. I had two things happen, really. One church, the preacher... Uh, asked to, if you have your Bible, hold your Bible up. Ugh. Well, I didn't know he was going to do that. And I had, I think it was my Vera Bradley one. So they were like, hold your Bible up. Well, when I held my Bible up, my thing went zipped and <laughs> everything went everywhere. <laughs> Oopsie. Then, another time, we had a pastor that was preaching at a revival. And he was up front, walking like this way. And I had my Bible open. We was also stand up. So I had my Bible, you know, and everything else. So I stood up with my Bible, and this part went, Phew. well, of course, everything went onto the ground. Well, he's, he stopped and picked all my crap up off the ground. <sighs> I think that's when Oscar kind of crawled under the pew. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, stuff happens. I'm a klutz, so I'm kind of a sort of a klutz. <laughs> But anywho, you know, I've had worse happen to me. Embarrassing at church. <laughs> You've heard some of them stories. Another thing I was going to talk to you all about was Bible tabs. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. I'm sorry. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. This is not Bible covers, but I'm going to tell you what I've been doing. Okay. I've took a large cosmetic bag, really. It might be a travel bag, cosmetic bag, whatever. Um, but anyway, I have got... My, one of my Bibles in here with my Sunday school book. And I do it this way too. I mean, I don't carry just Bible covers. It depends on what all I've got going on. But this one, I've got my Sunday school book. Okay. I've got my Bible. Okay. And I've also got, see, because it's got different compartments in it, because it's actually a cosmetic bag, so it's got different places to slide stuff in. Uh, I've got a little pad of uh, a notepad with little dividers in it. Okay, so I'm going to take some notes. Um, this one has a big section in it with a Velcro tab, so I kind of sectioned it off here. Uh, this side is just individual pockets. You can see. Um, and then it has a zipper pocket here. So in here I have a calendar, and I have some reading glasses, and I have a couple of ink pens. So, and a highlighter and even a fingernail file. But anyway, um, this one, I mean, I use this. I mean, you don't have to, I mean, whatever works for you. 
And I'm going to leave this Bible out because I was going to show you something here in just a minute. So I'll just start to do. Okay. Then this one is a 31 bag. Okay. And I just had it done. I had a butterfly put on it and had a Sharibi put on it. You see that? Okay. Well, I'm using this also for a Bible bag. And this one, I'm doing a study on a uh, book of Ephesians. And so that's why I'm using this for. I've got my Bible in there. That's how big this Bible is. It's big, but it's not real thick. I like my others. <laughs> uh, it's not a study Bible. It's just a large print Bible. Uh, I've got this little thing here with little sticky pads in it. I've got that in here. And I've got a little pouch here. I love these little pouches. And it has my pens and my highlighters and stuff in it. You know, you can just open it up like this and get all your pens and highlighters has a little pocket here, and in this pocket I have, it's a little Velcro pocket, I've got little page flags and posties down in there, okay, and that works out real good, so let's see here, just trying to figure out where I am on my time, is it still running, yep, Ooh. it's going to be a longer video than I thought, okay, anyway, I use that. I mean, it's just an empty pouch. It's no pockets in it or nothing. But that's what I use that one for. The last thing I was going to show you real quick is Bible tabs. And you can get all different kinds of Bible tabs. You can get gold ones. You can get all different kinds. And I don't know. I should have paid attention which Bibles had tabs. Some of them are already tabbed in your Bible. You know, they come that way. Um, and some not. Um, you can get all different kinds of Bible tabs. Um, I, this one, these ones I ordered off of, I think, Etsy. But they are, uh, I thought they would be cute on this Bible because uh, of the flower design and stuff. I thought they would be cute on here. But as you can see, they're all different designs. But uh, I like those real good. Can you see them? I don't know if you can see them or not. I thought those were cute. And this Bible, I didn't even buy tabs. I used those uh, post-it sticky things. Those little sticky, sticky tabs, little sticky tabs that go on and off. I made them myself. I, uh, I did them myself out of those little post-it tabs. Okay. I did them myself, and they work out just fine. Plus, they're big, and I can read them. <laughs> but that worked out fine for me. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I just thought I'd go over some Bible covers with you, some Bible tabs, things like that. Uh, I have a Bible tote. Then I take, it's usually in my car, okay? And it has pockets on the side that you can put things in. And then on the inside, I keep um, my Bible, which I use for a Kylie thing. I think I've done a thing on that before. Then I've got a little prayer journal thing in here and that, thing that I can write in. Then this is an Aura Kylie cosmetic bag. And I keep my Bible and stuff in this. I've got a Bible in this part. Uh, it has uh, zipper parts here that you can see to put stuff in. This one, I've done a review on these before. Uh, you can watch my other video. And then a, a mesh uh, pocket on this side. But anyway, I use that for a Bible bag too. But anyway, I keep this tote in my car because I like to do Bible study in my car sometimes when I'm out, you know, and about. So anyway, it's got pencils and all kinds of good stuff in it. And it zips up, so. But anyway, I'm glad you all joined me today. I'm sorry this kind of took a little longer than most of them, but I didn't really realize when I was getting rid of this whole idea in my head um, that it was going to be that way. It was going to be so much. Um, I didn't even go over this one, but I'll just show it to you real quick. It's similar to that other one. It has a handle. has a Velcro thing, okay? You can put a notepad in here. And this part... And zips for where your Bible goes. So your Bible goes, your Bible goes in this part. Yeah, this part. Okay, Bible goes in there. It has uh, pin loops, little clear pocket here. This one's nice because it's it's got its own Bible section, and this right here has place for pens and stuff. And then when you're done, you just flap it over. And there you go. Anyway, thank you all so much for visiting with me, and I hope you all got something out of this video. I thought it'd be something interesting to go over, and remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more, and uh, laughter's the best medicine, and I want y'all to have a great day, a great week, a good weekend coming up.
and uh, we give God all the glory and prayers and hugs. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.